very, very narrow defeat, but again, it's another match against the top team where we've given them a head start. Yeah, disappointed with the first 20 minutes of the game. I thought we were uh, we were poor, we weren't at risk at all. Um, you can't get too like York City now, 24 point start, which we did, but um, we've got to take some positives out of it. I thought the last 10 minutes of the first half we were excellent, we and just got two good tries, and then the second half I thought we are poor York totally, and I thought we were uh, probably unlucky at the, at the death not to not to win the game. Uh, you know, a two point defeat. Yes. Hard to take at the minute because I, I did think of the second, second half of the quarter to more. Is there a hangover from last week against Newcastle when it, it, you know, it wasn't really a, a classic performance from, from on this side? It's not a hangover, I asked for a reaction and I think we got that. You know, certainly the first 20 minutes looked like a hangover from last week, but I think the way we finished the game, the last 60 minutes of the game, we'd asked for a positive reaction from the players and, and I thought we got a positive reaction. I thought, you know, we gave York a real fright. And, uh, James Ford was uh, biting his nails at the end because it looked like they were going to lose the game and throw in a 24 point lead away. So, you know, whatever way you look at it, of course, start that we need to look at and, and, and address. But terrific fight back again. And we've had a few of them this year, haven't we? So, unfortunately, this one we just couldn't come through with the, uh, with the final two points. The sides that we're playing that we expect to be up there have probably had a couple of years on us yeah. where they've had a, a, a reasonable settled side and then bring in an odd one or two players. Whereas this year, yeah. you're new in, in, in bringing your new squad together. It still seems to be taking time to bed down, or is it just self belief yeah, that's no, lacking? It is. There's still a lot of bit of newness about us. Um, we, you know, we've got new combinations all over the park. We've got a lot of injuries to worry about, we're to contend with as well. You know, I've got to play young Cookie out on the wing today, and he's not a winger as a centre or a back row. But that said, I thought he didn't let himself down. I thought he did a terrific job. But um, it looks like we might have lost now Walker for. For, for the rest of the season now, so we've had some horrendous injury problems to contend with as well, and uh, probably had to bring lots of new players in and loan players that we didn't really want to do. We thought at the start of the season we'd get by with the squad that we have, but we, that's not the case. Um, so yeah, it, it, that together with the new squad and, and the disjointed uh, effect that has on us, uh, bringing new players in, hasn't helped us, and, and it has. We have found a long time to take uh, to find our feet. I think as, as a group, but. I thought some of the stuff we served up today was, uh, was first class and uh, you know, it's not got, it can't be easy to get in that top five because that's why there's a top five, there's a lot of good teams in there and uh, we've got to be one of them but I think if we can perform like that against the top of the league, against a team that ran Catalan Dragons close and, and, and have, have done really well so far in the season, I thought you know, if we could perform like that against them then we should back ourselves against anybody. And is that down to the players really to believe that? Yeah. Because the grounds are getting a little bit warmer. Yeah. It's been a really warm day today. No sh no signs of tiredness no. or anything. No. So they've got the ability. It's just believing that they can actually a do absolutely it. Absolutely right, Ian. You know, the, the fitness is there. The, the, the ability is there when they want to. Uh, we've got to be a little bit more consistent with that and, and learn how to play a little bit more. You know, we were, again, went into our shell a little bit the first 20 minutes, which is where we found ourselves 24 points behind. We did fix up some issues that we had on that left edge where York kept going to, you know, and we didn't sort that out. It was too late, they'd already scored four tries. So, yeah, a little bit of naiveness, I think, probably, uh, Ian. Um, but self belief, you know, I can't, I can't coach that. I can't coach that. I can't, you know, that's that's down to the individual players to, uh, to have in, in themselves. Um, and uh, what I hope they do do is take an awful lot of confidence from today's second half performance because, you know, we played some real good stuff today against the top team. And the fixtures that we've had just recently have not really helped. No. We've played most of the, yeah. the top sides now. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Uh, we've just got Doncaster and who happens to be the next match yeah. is Doncaster. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. And, and we're not playing any sides where you can gain confidence of, of scoring points. <laughs> York obviously got that last week. They did. We've had a tough we've had a tough group of fixtures, we really have and, and the table won't look pretty at the minute because we'll, we'll be quite a way down but um, when you look at the teams that we've played uh, you know you can see that that's why the Keithley and, and the Newcastle loss really hurt me because we we should have been winning those games and, and now we've got a lot of work to claw our way back up the table now and, uh, and it starts next, uh, the week after with Doncaster and, and I'm confident if we play like we did today with the same desire and commitment that we can turn Doncaster over. I'm really looking forward to going there on a big wide open field and as you said 
we look, we're getting better as the pitch is firm up. Doncaster pitch is a fantastic pitch to play on. It's, it's, it's great surface, it's a big wide field. We need to play like that, we need to turn up and play like that. And, and, and if we do, we're going to give ourselves every chance and get back on track. Following that, three fixtures that in theory we should win, but then there's no easy games in this league game. But West Wales, London, Coventry, you know, you'd be expected to pick up six points there, which hopefully will get us back on track. All right, well done on the comeback. Um, see what can be fixed up ready for Doncaster yeah. and see where we go from there. Okay, well done today. Cheers again, thank you.